Well, hi, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Just good. Just good. We're good. I just don't, you know, mm. we have not been with you for about a week. Yes. That's it. And just figure what that could mean. We've not been all together physically well, but we are glad to be back. Absolutely. Yes. So it's Anthony and Cheryl from Fate 5. Mm -hmm. And we are here with another Fate Bite. Now, before we, we parted, we were talking about the spiritual warrior. Mm -hmm. The person. I know we talked about Ephesians and just the characteristics of the spiritual war, but we're really wanting to talk just a tad bit more mm -hmm. about that spiritual warrior before we go into looking at Ephesians 6 mm -hmm. and the tools or the weapons that the spiritual warrior uses. Mm -hmm. And so we are glad that you're back with us and we are asking you to, yes, subscribe, subscribe, Share and invite a friend mm -hmm. to partake of what you're mm -hmm. taking on. So we want to share with you a few thoughts, just quickly to remind you of some absolute truths, because we're talking about spiritual warfare, and there is a truth that never stops. The first casualty of any spiritual or physical conflict is the truth about the situation. What the casualty? It's a casualty. First person, first thing <laughs> to stop functioning is not people, it's the truth of the situation. Wow. Whatever you're experiencing right now, whatever you feel about the situation or the data or the science or whatever it is, yeah. truth seems to be the first thing to die in the midst of a conflict, wow. be it spiritual or physical. People begin to see in different ways, react differently, respond differently. And then the machines begin to grind out to tell you exactly what they want you to know about that conflict, that situation, so that you're going to respond not to the truth, but to what you perceive the truth is. So, can I just interrupt you, you right sure here? Can. You tend to just go yes. in and go right to the juggler That's and go deep. My point is, if truth is the first casualty, mm. then if truth is taken out, then mm. there's no hope. Well, you're basing your life on what you call hope, which is not the absolute truth. Remember, the first casualty is truth. So the first thing needs to be regained is the truth. Okay, but I'm in a conflict. Mm -hmm. The situation is a problem. So how am I going to regain truth? When it goes, it's the first thing to go in a conflict. Okay, let me take that a little more personal. What about I am having really a, a mental struggle with something, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, I'm in a situation, I know, I'm supposed to know the truth in the situation, but there's so much factors that surround in it. How do I deal with that? That's a very good question. If you're born again believer and you love Christ, He's not only your savior, but the one that brings his truth to bear in your situation. Okay. So All if right. you spend time abiding in him, he knows the exact truth about the situation. That's that you're right. Facing. Okay. Okay. So you yeah. cannot win. You cannot overcome. You cannot be victorious unless you walk in the truth. That sounds like a verse. You know, when Jesus was having this conversation in, I think it's John 8, and there were, there were Jews, there were different individuals that were there. And he, he turned to the Jews in John 8. And I think if you read from 25 down to about 38 or so, but verse 32 says, he was speaking directly to the Jews. If you, if you know the, tr the truth that you know will set you free. So if you know the truth, it will set you free. So if we stand then on the truth. That's right. Deep on the inside of us, whatever the truth is, it may not be something that we want mm -hmm. to accept as truth, but it is the truth about the situation. And we keep that truth always in the forefront, no matter what is happening around us. Freedom will be ours. Absolutely. Whatever you're experiencing right now, whatever you feel, whatever you're going through right now in your life, we are depending upon so many things, but it's time for us to go back to what God said. 
Let his word, let his truth become the one that gives you the victory. Because we might think that we have won, but we have not recovered the truth wow. about the situation. Wow. Wow. And so wow. really God says that he sent his only begotten son into this world that you and I can experience truth of our lives with God, our lives on the earth. Don't let somebody else's lies, because this world is full of lies, deception, and they are always promoting their brand of it. <laughs> no, but they don't see it as the person. Well, it's their brand of truth. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that I'm hearing of late, I know we may be going short, but is, you know, my truth. This is my truth. And so it becomes my truth over your truth. Mm -hmm. What about God's truth mm -hmm. about your truth? I think that is where the reality of the situation is. And, you know, I really want to encourage us that as spiritual warriors, mm -hmm. we have got to be mm -hmm. properly equipped before we start gleaning the tools yes. of a warrior, before we start donning the armor. Because mm -hmm. you've got to put the armor on somebody. Yes. And that person needs to be totally committed and given over to yeah. the Lord Jesus Christ. And to his truth. So we pray right now, wherever yes. you are in yes. your personal walk, mm -hmm. that you may walk in the truth that Jesus said in St. John. Yes. For the truth, the truth will set you free. Yes. And we're going to walk in that truth, even you know if it. everybody mm -hmm. else around your world is chosen to live in this section, you are making a determination right now where you are hmm. to trust God, believe Jesus' words, and let the Holy Spirit guide you out of every situation that yes. you're walking in. Yes. Because yes. God's intention is to bring you out so you can walk out and help others to walk out. Let's walk in truth. So thanks for being with us. Right. Fate bite. Just a bite. Just a bite of faith to help you on your journey. Bless you and see you next time. Okay.